Hey everyone, Tala here with your metaphysical minute as opposed to mineral minute. Um, today I am answering some questions and I had some folks asking me if I was going to be doing a meditation tonight for the, um, for the lunar eclipse and the full moon. And I kept on getting no, no, no. So I finally got the answer why and um, because this is going to be for all of us to really tap into our own individual time with ourselves. This lunar eclipse is kicking off a six month period of self-reflection and facing your own truths and starting to speak your own truths uh, more openly and really truly looking within oneself to find out what your true happiness paths are. So it may be a change in career, it may be a change in just job location, uh, living location, um, maybe a change of partner, uh, change of friendships, it could be, um, and it could be on a minor level too. On a deeper level though, for those that are familiar with shadow work, this is the perfect time to be doing shadow work over these next six months. I will say for those of you that are not familiar with doing shadow work, do not just jump in. Shadow work, um, it takes some preparation and some self preparation. And what I mean by that is you have to have a really good sense of self esteem. I don't mean you have to be an ego maniac or that you have to feel that you're the, you know, God's gift or anything like that. Um, but you have to have a healthy sense of self-esteem because if you're dealing with any type of depression um, or any self-worth issues and you start to go into shadow work, it can backfire on you. Um, but I do want to get into uh, shadow work a little bit. Shadow work was always done by shaman and medicine men and now primarily it's done by psychiatrists and psychologists and really what it's about is facing your own demons and some people say oh no I don't have any demons I'm I don't have any shadow self we all have a shadow self every single person that is created um, and I can get into a very long discussion about this but basically this is where any anger sadness hatred um, shame guilt that's where all of that comes from and in today's day and age of love and light if you're on a spiritual path and you're only focusing on love and light then you are you're doing yourself a great disservice because you it's a form of escapism if you only fo focus on love and light and if any of you ever received any anything in writing from me i usually write love light strength and balance and sometimes i'll even write love light strength and balance and accountability because <laughs> that's really important too um but there are a lot of signs of having the shadow self that you're not dealing with and that could be projecting uh your anger projecting traits onto someone that you may have yourself that you're not dealing with um again this is not something you want to just start jumping into if you don't know how um, this is something to do with somebody who is trained or uh, can teach you how to do this or go through times with you um, like kind of one-on-one -on -one counseling sessions which is something I'm considering doing with people because I have done it in the past um, if you have not done shadow self yet and you want to build up to doing shadow self I would say take this time right now to work on self-love that stuff crawling on me um, to work on self-love exercises um, that can be really moving and it can be <sighs> the first time I ever did self-love meditation I started bawling my eyes out um, it was it was I mean it was years ago and it was when I first started my spiritual path but yeah, first time I did one, I sat there and cried in a room by myself and it just made my heart feel so tender and made me start to really love myself and love who I am. 
Um, and you need to have a healthy sense of that. And you need to be a friend to yourself before you start to do the shadow self. What the moon is tonight and what it's really doing is having us walk our true paths for our true happiness. And this is gonna affect some people more than others. Um, some people may, may get really, really anxious and some people may start to, uh, I don't know, feel, feel a little antsy. Um, and that's why you want to do that, that self-reflection and find out what is it that you're depriving yourself of. What is that happiness that you have not been partaking in? And I will tell you this, it is typically not, you know, alcohol or anything like that because that is an expression of the set of the shadow self that is not being expressed. So I can get into more of a shadow self explanation later on. Um, but I wanted to get this out before 5 p.m. The lunar eclipse is technically at 5.30 p.m. our time. And like I said, it's not so much the eclipse, although that's playing with lights and shadows also, kind of interesting. And that this particular full moon is really about um, focusing on that self within, um, focusing on the light into the darkness, shining light on the darkness of the self, um, and finally bringing forth your truths and stop trying to compromise. I'm sorry, I'm getting dive bombed here by flying things. Um, you can compromise with kindness, but be sure that you're doing it in being true to yourself. So tonight what I would suggest is, um, even for you couples out there, or your groups of friends out there that may want to do something um, group related, everyone please take time for yourself and just between you and the moon. And what this is about is aligning your core with the energy of the moon tonight. And it will help to guide you. It will help to kind of navigate the rocky shoals of the soul. So. Um, spend a few minutes, just you and the moon. Take a chair out and just sit there. Um, if you want to charge a stone with yourself right now, I think that would be really good. And this will kind of be your totem for the next six month journey. If you have selenite, that is ideal because selenite named after the goddess, the moon goddess, Selena, um, so bring a piece of selenite with you, um, or moonstone or howlite. You can bring anything, you can bring anything with you that you want to, that you really connect with. But I would suggest for true moon energy, I would say moonstone, any type of moonstone, selenite, howlite, pearls. Um, yeah, anything you connect with, even hematite, the silvery aspect of it. Galena is a good one too. Um, and then kind of work with that stone over the next six months when you're going to do any self-love exploration and meditation. Um, and that's really what this is about. So this is setting up those next six months of doing work on the self, even if it's just 10 minutes a day, even if it's while you're in the shower. Um, you can do a meditation in the shower and just be focusing on the self with love and understanding and compassion, but it starts tonight, okay? I hope you are all doing beautifully. I hope this is going to be, I hope it's going to be a really strengthening and empowering process for all of us when it's done right and when it's done with compassion and when it's done with love of the self, it's, it's truly enlightening. It is truly enlightening and it only strengthens your spiritual path. Um, you have to have that balance. You can't just be focused on love and light all the time. You have to have that balance, okay? So that's what tonight is about, is getting in touch with that balance and being true to the self. Enjoy tonight. Um, I would say even just a good 10-15 minutes out in the moon 
if you can't spend much more than that. If you can't actually get outside, I would say get to a room, turn the lights off, and uh, spend time by the window. But uh, enjoy the moon, connect tonight, okay? Thank you so much, everybody. I'm really kind of excited about this next six months because I think we're gonna see some major changes in people. Um, and this is how we all start to release those angers, um, start to release that sadness or harboring resentments, etc. Okay? All right, everybody. Thanks so much. Till next time. This is Tala. Happy full moon. And do the work. You hear me talking about doing the work? This is what it means. Do the work. Okay. Bye. And if you like the channel, please subscribe and please hit the bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video. Um, please share, please tell your friends, and please ask any questions down in the comments. I'm happy to talk about different, uh, different subjects, all things metaphysical. Okay? Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.